Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Tamara. If you're new here, my channel primarily consists of beauty, a little bit of fashion, and a little bit of lifestyle. Today, I'm doing a little get to know me tag, so I'm gonna be doing my makeup and just talking about me. I actually meant to do this video as my first video of the year, but you know, life comes at you fast, so you just gotta switch some things up. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share all of my wonderful videos. Finally at 100 subscribers. Woo! my celebration dance. I think I'm actually over 120 right now, which is super exciting. But thank you guys so much for the support. It really means a lot to me. Now, let's get into this video. All right, so I have pulled my hair out of my face. Um, I'm using this black band that I got. It's like velvet from some hair company that I got a while ago. I don't really remember. Um, which company it was, but I'm going to start with a primer. I'm actually going to try out a new primer. The trial size, which is why it's so small, it's an interesting color. It's like a peach color. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm just going to apply that all over my face here. I don't think I put enough. I think it actually feels pretty good. It has like a little bit of a fragrancy smell to it, but I think it made my face fairly tacky, so so far so good. I'm actually going to start with this tinted hue stick to correct my dark circles under my eye and my dark shadows, aka my 5 o'clock shadow, um, by my lip. So first things first, let's address the elephant in the room. I don't even know if you can see my shirt. You can kind of see my shirt. Am I a Backstreet Boys girl or an NSYNC girl? I'm here to set the record straight. I am an NSYNC girl. I'm going to try and blend this out while I talk. Um, I've actually only seen the Backstreet Boys in person because when have the Backstreet Boys stopped touring? Plus what Backstreet Boys song have you heard where they're talking about their Tims, their baggages, or their thug appeal? Insane knew the deal. If you know what song that is, comment down below. <laughs> would I be too forward and I such a Halloween? Oh, you like it when I make it keep it real Okay, I'm done. I'm actually using a new sponge. This is the Rare Beauty sponge. I haven't heard good things about it, but I decided to get it anyways because I just wanted to try it out. I mean, I haven't blended out a ton, but I think it's fine so far. I'm trying out a new foundation that I actually have not tried before on my channel. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Foundation. I feel like I'm always behind on the times. Like, she just came out with a new one, and I just decided to get this one. I got this in the color 13 neutral, which I'm not a neutral girl, but it comes to the darker shades of this foundation. I feel like there's a lot of like missed opportunities. I actually like struggled to find a foundation that worked for me. Me and the girl in Sephora were like going back and forth, like this could work, this might not work. Um, I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy Morphe E63 brush and blend that all out. So fun facts about me, where do I start? How did I actually start getting into makeup? Well, I'm a physical therapist. I don't know if that's ever been addressed. I feel like I've talked about like my patients, but I haven't actually talked about like, I haven't talked about my patients, but I've mentioned that I have patients. Um, but I haven't actually talked about what I do. Um, but I'm a physical therapist and when I was in school, we had like our white coat ceremony, white coat pinning, and I wanted my face to be snatched for my white coat ceremony. So the only way for me to actually be snatched the way I wanted to be snatched during the ceremony was doing it myself because it was like I think we had classes like all morning and then maybe in the afternoon is when we had our ceremony so like I couldn't like go to like a map counter right before I went it was like we had class and then like you have to get ready for like I was late because I was snatching my face I was I was always almost always late for class though I mean I was never like late late but I was like one to two minutes, I'm like rushing in the door. But I'm getting off the mark here, so I wanted my face to be snatched, didn't have time to go to like a matte counter in between, and I never really watched YouTube like that at the time. So I deep dived into YouTube, and I was like learning all these like beginner tips and learning all this different makeup that I needed to get. And that's actually how I ended up getting so into makeup, which is funny because like I started watching YouTube videos and I like didn't stop. I didn't know who Jackie Anna was before that. And like, I just went on like a binge of Jackie Anna videos. The beginner friendly video I thought was like some, I don't know who she was. I can't remember. I'm sure if I looked up makeup for beginners, like she's probably one of the first people that would pop up. But like, she gave you all the tips, showed you the makeup to get. That's why how I started off with the Cody Airspun. I think this is a pretty foundation, but it is a little orange. That's the only thing, and I would say it's probably like medium coverage. I wouldn't call it a full coverage foundation, but I think it's something that you can build. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. 
Y'all, what scam are they running these days? Like, I'm in the midst of shooting this video and I just got this text and it's some um, young white woman talking about, hey cutie, I miss you, think we should do it again later. Clearly it's a scam, but like, is this Simon? Like, I've gotten something on WhatsApp, but like, this is weird. I haven't used this in a while. I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way concealer in the color Maple and go down the side of my nose and then up into like a V. So I'm like snatching up this way. So I told a portion about me getting into makeup. Now, how did I actually get into YouTube? Once I did get into makeup, I would always send my friends videos like basically pretending like I was a YouTuber, like you should really try this product and like just talking about different product reviews and whatnot. And my friends were like, you should really just do a YouTube channel. And I was like, no. It takes a lot to actually put yourself out there, especially like in this type of way, because like I'm actually a very closed off person and like you probably, I don't post a lot on my like Instagram or anything. All you see are pictures from me and then like my videos. And then my good friend, we all know her, we all know her, Elmarie. I'm gonna blend this out while I'm telling the story. She got me a ring light for my birthday. I don't remember what birthday that was. That was a, a couple birthdays ago. And then I was like, oh, okay, I have to do it then. Because I was like, she put in the effort to get me this like huge ring light, which I am still shooting with now. Um, I should probably actually do something. So I started shooting videos and like, here we are one year later, still making videos. You definitely get more comfortable in front of the camera, I would say. Like initially it's like so awkward, but after a while you just get used to it being you, a camera, and a microphone, and that's it. Initially I was just like, oh, I don't wanna like post this. It's like so, like, I guess embarrassing? Is that the word? Oh, I don't wanna like post these videos. It's like so embarrassing. People are gonna be so judgy. I don't even know if judgy is the word. People are gonna like make fun of me. And then after a while you just get over it and you just keep posting and that is kind of that. So if you are interested in starting a YouTube deal, I would say probably just do it. Like if you're interested in doing it because what's the worst that can happen? People are always gonna have something to say anyway. So if it's more so along the lines of like, well, people are gonna judge me, people are gonna judge you regardless. So if you wanna do it, just do it. Look at me today, still making videos, still trying to put out content, still figuring this thing out. But I mean, I'm still having fun. So as long as you're having fun while you're doing it, I feel like that is also important as well. I'm gonna go back in with the color cookie and just highlight a little bit more. I actually don't think I'm gonna do that TikTok trick because Mabel doesn't really uh, highlight my eye. It's kind of my same skin tone, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit more this time to the chin and then up into the forehead. So before I actually wanted to be a physical therapist, I was heavy into music, like all about discovering new artists and like finding these like people that were like kind of on the verge of like blowing up and like finding like underground music and all that type of stuff. Cause like, I just, I mean, I still love music. I just like don't pay attention to like new artists as much as I used to or people that are just like up and coming as much as I used to. Um, but I obviously still love music. But before, I decided that I was gonna be a physical therapist. I actually wanted to be an A&R for a music company. Like, I was, I will say was, cause I'm definitely not as obsessed as I used to be, but I was like obsessed with music. Like, every weekend I was at a concert with me and my high school best friend, Bianca. Like, we did huge concerts, but it was also just like super small venues. Like, what was it called? Was it called Station 4? We'd see stuff at Station 4. Do you remember, guys remember who like Shwayze was? He had like his own MTV show. I think it was called Station 4, it was in St. Paul. We'd go and see shows like that. Um, obviously, we went to see Paramore. Did we see them once or twice? Like, we were super into like pop pop bands and I was also like super into like R&B. Uh, I'll, I'll say we. We were also super into like R&B and stuff like that. But before the idea of medicine came into my mind, I totally wanted to do like discovering of artists and developing of artists and stuff like that. Sometimes I'm like, well, maybe I should have just like stuck with that. But I also think that a and R's is probably like not as big of a thing anymore. I'm not in the music industry, so what would I actually know? But funny enough, that's what I wanted to do before I ended up deciding to be a physical therapist instead. I'm still like really into concerts though. I haven't been to one in a long time, but I still really like going to shows. I still really like listening to music and I do still like to hear from these like new artists I just like don't 
invest my time as much into learning so much about them like I did when I was like in high school and like college. I move fast enough when it comes to setting my eyes, it is what it is, so they're gonna crease, whatever. I have lines under my eyes, I'm a human being. Um, but I'm gonna try this Makeup Forever powder again. Um, I didn't really like it the first time I used it, and I didn't really try it again, but I'm gonna give it another shot because I still have it anyway. And I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique Setting Powder Sponge. Not so deep fact about me. Um, my favorite color is pink, if you didn't know. I mean, I feel like I wear a lot of pink, so I feel like it's pretty obvious that my favorite color is pink, but hopefully that's not like a question that I use for my passwords. I don't think it is. So if you ever wanted to get me something color-based, um, my favorite color is pink. A blush pink is usually what I truly adore. I might be going back on my initial statements. I only, I've only tried this once, but like, now I'm trying it and I'm like, whoa, under eyes, blurred. Wow, I put way too much on my chin. Before I was like, this is like really drying, and it kind of is, cause like, I don't know if you can see like right under my eye, like in through my creases, it's like super drying. But I mean, it like really blurs out the eye. Like the first time I tried it, I didn't like it. Maybe my skin was more dry then, but I might be going out back on my statement. We will see how the rest of the face turns out. I'm gonna get into some bronzer next. Um, I actually am trying out a new bronzer. It is from Mented. It's called Yacht Life and it looks really pretty. Um, I've heard good things about it, so I just wanted to try it out. It does seem to have like a little bit of a gleam in it. So I'm sure it'd be really good for summer. First little swipe, it looks, it looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna like this, but I think you kind of have to pack it on. So I know I come across like super personable via camera, but fun fact about me, I'm actually like painfully shy. At least people that know me are probably like this liar. In places where I like don't know anybody and I have to be like outgoing, like parties in college where you like didn't really know anybody, I'd be like dying inside. And I forgot how painfully shy I was until like recently I had to go to something for work and I was like, as I was walking up to the door, I was like, I don't know anybody here. And I was like, I have to be with these people for like hours and I don't know anybody here. And then I started like freaking out because I was like, now I have to make conversation with people that I don't know. I have to get through this like full day. And yeah, I'm actually ridiculously shy, which is like uh, honestly kind of annoying. Like once I get to know you, like I'm probably one of the most obnoxious human beings that you'll ever meet. I'm very in your face. I'm very loud, very obnoxious, very full of life, but like when I'm in a situation where I don't really know anybody or like don't really know the situation, I'm just like really quiet and like panicking inside because I know that I have to make small talk and I can make small talk, but I just get really nervous when I have to make it. So if you see me sitting in a corner somewhere just quietly to myself, it's not because I like hate the situation, it's just because I'm like painfully shy and I don't know what to say to anybody. But like, if you try and talk to me, I'll talk. I may be a little bit awkward, but I'll talk. I like, really like this bronzer, it, like gives you like a sun-kissed glow. So the base is basically all done here, so I'm gonna get into eyes. I'm actually going to use my Amrezi palette. I didn't get this right when it came out, but I got it like maybe like a year after it came out, but I actually like really like the color scheme. It's like not like regular ABH palettes where I think they have like 16, this adds like two extra ones. But the couple of times that I have worn it, I actually really like it. I think I'm gonna go for like a more neutral eye, but I'm still gonna use shimmers. So I'm gonna start off with New Yorker, New Yorker, New Yorker, New Yorker. I'm just gonna stop now. I'm gonna start off with this like brown here and just blend it into my crease and per usual it's an ABH palette so things are very pigmented. With the being shy portion of things, like I love food and I love to try new food. I wouldn't consider myself like a foodie though because like I don't I wouldn't say that I'm that explorative with my food. I just like if I see something that like looks like it has a lot of good options then I will try it. And then once I kind of try it I'll just keep trying it, which like usually with foodies, I feel like they will keep trying multiple things. But once I find something that I like, I'll just like keep eating it. But I do wish I was one of those people that was comfortable with like going out to eat by themselves. I've done it maybe like once or twice, but because I do like food so much and like trying different things, I wish that I wasn't like hesitant to like just go and try it myself. And I think that that's something that I'm gonna try more in the future because I find that when you wait for people to do things, you just like don't do them. I'll talk it up to myself a lot, like, oh, you should go do this because if you keep waiting for somebody, you might not go. But 
here I am. But I'm trying to get better at that, so we'll we'll see what the future holds for me. I'm gonna go in next with 1988. Sometimes this ends up being like more of like a purplish color, but I'm just gonna add that on the outside of my eyelid here. And then just blend it into my crease. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. Ooh, I did I overdid it on this side. I way overdid it on this side. I'm gonna have to go back into the other side and kind of fix it. So because I overdid it on this side, I'm going in with this Wet n Wild brush that doesn't have anything on it. And then I'm just blending it into the crease to kind of help fade it out a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with Georgina, this like copper shimmer shade here. And I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk brush, which is like a $6 brush from Target. That's actually worked really well with my shimmer shades. And then I'm just going to pack that all on my eyelid here one thing about me which if you're really close to me you probably witnessed like if i don't like it i'm gonna say it and like i'm actually trying to like correct that because like sometimes it can probably come off a little too harsh so i'm trying to work on just because you don't like it doesn't mean that you have to say it so i think sometimes it can be good in situations but like sometimes you know just just hold your tongue which is what i'm actually getting better at a lot of the time i'll just like sit back and just like watch things play out i'm peeping things but like i'm just trying not to say anything anymore because you don't always have to say something and that's something that i've learned in my 30 years of life you don't always have to say something and sometimes like just because you don't like it doesn't mean that you have to say it because like sometimes i can get you in hot water so i'm learning to keep my mouth shut but if people bring it to me then sometimes it's a little different, but it's also very dependent because I'm also very much so like, okay, so if you say this right now, or if you address this right now, A, what is it gonna change? B, is it gonna matter in a month from now? Is it gonna matter two months from now? Is it gonna matter three months from now? If it's not gonna matter three months from now, or even if it's even a month from now, just like let it go. But if it's something that I know is going to matter in the future and is going to affect things in the future, I'm gonna say it. I actually really like this color and I actually really like this eye. It's like super like subtle and this Georgina color is like really good on my skin tone because like you like can see that I have eyeshadow on but it's like not like an overwhelming look. Let's roll into this eyeliner per usual. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Life Liner quick and easy. The spirit of a cat eye called me and I answered and then I messed it up. Um, so I'm gonna try and fix this because what happened there? So if this happens to you, what you can do is take a concealer that's basically like the same color as you. So my maple, and then I'm gonna take that concealer brush and just pat right underneath it just to correct it so it doesn't look so tragic. And then just like blend that out. It's actually a nifty trick. So like if you mess up on anything, you can just like go back through with your concealer and just correct it. My favorite part about attempting a cat eye is these literally are not even close to equal. But we're just going to keep it pushing because like who has time to sit here and nitpick at my attempt at a cat eye. I'm going to go in with my Lily Lashes next. This is in the style Miami. These are my favorite ones. They're like, I think these are my second pair and they're super cute. I think I said in previous videos, if you do want to try Lily Lashes, it's a little bit on the spendy side. Just wait till they have like a 50% off sale on Ulta because they have them all the time and stock up. All right, and the lashes are popped on. I actually forgot to put mascara on with my real lashes, but that's okay. We're just going to make it work because it doesn't look super crazy. Maybe in person it would look crazy, but I'm not in person. I'm on a screen, so it's fine. So I'm going to go through and just brush off all of that excess powder per usual. So I'm going to go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color Almond. You know how every movie is basically about like zombie apocalypses or like a deadly virus that comes and sweeps over the world and people end up like getting infected by this virus and then they turn into zombies or if you look them in the eye, you die or whatever, these type of movies. So obviously I thought about um what i would do in a zombie apocalypse and what my weapon of choice would be my weapon of choice would be a hatchet because you can keep using it you when people get up close to you you go huh, huh, and then you keep it moving is that insane maybe i mean i think that's probably a little bit crazy to say out loud but i mean you have to think about these things because there are so many movies so like maybe 
it's bound to happen. I don't know. Because I have watched so many movies. Um, if a zombie apocalypse or something like that does happen, you can honestly just take me out of the beginning. I know some of you are about to call me a fraud, and that is fine. But the reality of the situation is, if a zombie apocalypse happens, and I can't stay in the comfort of my home because, like, the zombies are going to try and come into my apartment and bite me and infect me, take me out of the beginning because, one, I get hangry. If I have to run around all of the United States, and I don't know when my next meal is going to be, I'm going to be pissed. Two, who wants to do all of that running? You have to run here. You have to run there. As soon as something happens, you're running, 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 running. And when's the last time I ate? I'm doing all this running and I don't even know what my next meal is. Oh, something's coming. No, I'm scared. No, I don't want to do that. If a zombie apocalypse happens, take me out of the beginning. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to get infected. I don't want to be running. I don't care if there's some safe haven. I'm in Minnesota right now and I have to make it to New York. I'm not going to make it to New York. I know I'm not going to make it to New York because I'm going to get pissed. I'm going to get hungry. I'm going to get tired. I'm not going to want to run anymore. I'm going I'm to smell. If a zombie apocalypse happens, dead me. I don't want to be a part of it. So basically the face is all done. So I just wiped off that excess foundation off of my lip. And I'm going to go in with my usual brown liner first. And I actually don't know what color I want to use yet. But we're about to figure it out. This is actually not a fun fact. This is, it wasn't even traumatizing. It was more so just like funny. Um... I worked for an after school program after college, I think it was. Somehow I was in charge of a classroom, how that happened, I don't really know. I couldn't line my lips and talk, but either way, you know what this little girl told me? So I pissed her off, and I don't remember, I honestly don't remember what I said. Maybe I told her to like stop doing something that she didn't want to stop doing. You know what she said to me? She said, that's why your lips are so dark. I was like, since that day, I was like, oh, I guess my lips are kind of dark compared to like, what other people's lips are but like kids will roast the ish out of you like they'll make you realize things about yourself that you like really didn't pay attention to that from that day forward i was like wow i guess i do have dark lips but whatever it is what it is i'm not insecure about it or anything but like when she pointed it out i was like dang did you have to come for me that heavy just because i told you to go and sit down Try this in a previous video. It's a human Huda Beauty Demi Matte in the color Day Slayer. They've actually like reformulated these, but uh, this is an older one. Um, I tried it with like a super light liner and that did not work. So I tried it with a dark liner and it looks so much better. Before I was kind of looking like a clown, but now with a darker liner, it looks a lot better. I'm actually going to go in with my Huda palette and I think I'm going to do blush today. Okay, I'm going to do this Bora Bora color because I'm like really in love with it. So I'm just going to swirl that in there and just blot it along my cheeks here. Or right above my cheeks I guess I should say. It's like more of like a gleam than anything but I think the pink is really pretty so that's why I wanted to add it. So as you know I watch a lot of TV. I actually watch a lot of like reality TV so... I don't really watch MTV as much as I used to, but like when I was a kid, me and MTV were one, even though I probably was not of, of age to be watching MTV as much as I have, but I might have put too much. But either way, I always thought that if I were ever to go on TV and to be on a reality TV show, it would probably have to be the challenge. Not the challenge of these days, but the challenge of like, Tanya, Evan, Kenny, um, I feel like those days, like, the challenges looked like they were, like, so much more fun and, like, so much more challenging as opposed to, like, some of the challenges now. It doesn't interest me as much as it used to, but, like, if I were ever to go on reality TV, I would definitely go on the challenge. Um, do I have a second runner-up? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think that that would be it. Like, I think I would never be able to do a love show because, like, I don't like to be vulnerable because it just like makes me feel so awkward and makes me want to like crawl up in a little ball and like this is weird not like I'm judging people like this is weird but like we're doing this all in front of a camera and for me I just feel like it'd be like so awkward that I wouldn't be able to do it watch like two years from now watch me end up on some like watch me end up on like The Bachelor what about you guys though if you were ever to actually go on TV and like be on any type of reality show what reality show would you be on?
comment down below and let me know. Since we are in a Charlotte Tilbury mood already, let's go ahead and tie this whole face together with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I do a lot of spray, but I think the most important part to get it on is the powder so that it doesn't look like super like cakey under your eye when all is said and done. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. What do you think? I think it actually turned out pretty well. I feel like it like kind of looks like a natural glam minus this blush, which is in a highlighter palette, so I kind of overdid it, but it's like, bam very much so in your face. I feel like it kind of just looks like natural glam. Like, I know that I just put on a ton of makeup, but it almost looks like I actually don't have that much makeup on, or maybe that's just in my head. I don't know. This setting powder, the verdict's still out. I feel like it's like super drying for my under eye, but I also have a very dry under eye, but like it is super blurring, so like there is some potential there with it, but I guess if you have a dry under eye, maybe this powder isn't for you, maybe it's not for me. I'm like, I'm probably gonna keep trying it though, since I have it anyways. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you were ever to do a reality TV show, what reality TV show you would do. And in fact, comment down below and let me know if you were ever in a zombie apocalypse what would your weapon of choice be i'm curious and i'm sure everybody else is as well but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me the girl behind the camera does anybody actually say that in my head people say that but like i know people probably don't say that and that's okay and thank you so much for the support it means a lot to me when i first started this i don't really know what i thought the result of all of this would be but it's actually really exciting to be over 100 subscribers at this point i've been doing this for like a little over a year and it's nice to see that people actually support the work that i'm putting out but thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for all the support it means a lot to me and i will see you in my next one